Is this the Dutch farm girl? Grandpa. Kik. Kik. Did you get anything? The carbon from the vase basket. If you hold it up to the light, you can just make it out. Thank you. You see, Papa, we have a contact in the Gestapo office. Hush. He gives us a deportation list whenever he can. All right, Kik? Uh huh. Bye, Grandpa. God bless you, Kik. Steady it with one hand. Good. Papa. Every day now, they send 400 Jews from Amsterdam Central Station. We reach those we can. Do we know anyone on the list? Please, I, I, I'm sorry to, to inconvenience you. Upstairs. We have met. Oh, well, uh, it was he had late. no place to go. Uh, Papa, uh, he's a professor. Yeah. Well, I'm studying with him. Uh, they've closed the university. Yeah, all the Jewish teachers were forced. <clears throat> Good morning. Again, Professor. I apologize for the intrusion, Mr. Temple. Please. Professor, will you do us the honor of asking the blessing? Baruch Adonai, Eloheinu Melech Olam, Amotzi Lechem Min Haaretz. Amen. Amen. Fortunate Aunt Bep had big feet. Yes. Mm. Now, uh, when were you born? Born? Mm. Oh. Uh, 19th August, 1885. Father's name? Uh, Ten Caspar. Mother? Ten Boom, Cornelia. Her maiden name? Miss Tenboom. If we are stopped, I... I could never pass as you. Professor Zena, there are no ifs in God's world. Now, he brought you to this house, and he will see you get safely away. This is very time, Professor. Stay close with me. 
I'll try. I need your father's help. You should have seen Professor Zena getting into the boat, with Catherine's father attending him like he was Queen Wilhelmina boarding the yacht. <laughs> Cornelia, do you think you are enjoying this a little too much? Enjoying? No, I was terrified. If I hadn't been able to laugh at him, all dressed up like Betsy. Oh, thank God. He kept the patrols away. Be sure to save a piece of cake for Willem's friend. Yeah. Friend? It's all very mysterious. Someone he wants us to meet. What did Willem say when you told him about Professor Zeta? This is not some... some game you play when the mood strikes. If you become involved in this work, people will be forced to trust you with their lives. I told you, Willem. We gave him my papers. We taught it out very carefully. And if they questioned him, was he supposed to sing soprano? No. He was going to have a Quincy Trout. Excuse me. But you wander along the canal, picking someone out of thin air. How did you know you could trust him? I knew the man. And I knew what the Lord had told me. Papa, you are the master of this house. The master of this house commands that we open the door to anyone who knocks. We cannot afford to ignore anyone who seriously engages in our work, whatever the methods. Perhaps you will allow us to assist your efforts. Thank you for the delivery, Mr. Smith. Only for emergencies. We have a contact at exchange, but you can never be certain that the line is not tapped. But you would be expected to develop your own sources. The less contact you have with me, or with anyone else, the better. Philip. We know half of Harlem. We have friends everywhere. Dear lady, knowing them is one thing. Knowing their political views. God knows. And we will ask him to lead. Oh, we appreciate your concern, Mr. Slurry. We are not the most likely candidates. <laughs> but since there is a need, we must do what we can to meet it. People have every kind of reason for wanting to work in the underground. Excitement, perhaps. <laughs> Mr. Slurring, we are past the age when excitement is of any major concern in our lives. Truthfully, I'd rather do anything else. I'd like to... Close it 